Hi, welcome everybody. This is the Drop Poster Podcast, and we are here with somebody new that uh, you might not know and you might not have seen if you're from the Western Hemisphere. But this is Raj Khatri. He is poster junkie, and uh, yeah, I want to welcome him. Raj, how you doing, man? Hi, 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 Tom. I'm doing well, yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. I mean, I've been a fan for uh, quite some time without even knowing who is behind these posters because uh, the uh, some people out there know that I'm a, a big lover of Indian cinema and that I have my my uh, cinema series Masala Crowd where I uh, present Indian movies and. Uh, after I knew you are the, the, the person behind some of my favorite posters from India, I was like, oh, man, I have to get this man on. And now we're here. So really exciting times, man. Um, how's everything? How how has been? How's how's work so far lately? I mean, you you've been you are productive. I it's like I don't even know how to say like how productive, but it's like crazy. So uh, so it's been a very, very good year for me. Uh, I've been able to produce 50 key arts this year. Uh, and uh, with, of course, with my team, I have a good team, great team supporting me. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's been one of the busiest year in my career, mm-hmm. uh, probably because uh, of a lot of lag from the last two years of pandemic. Mm-hmm. Uh, because the last two years we were working from home, and a lot of big, a lot of movies and, uh, and shows were kind of getting delayed or postponed. So a lot of things all came together this year. So the workload was too high. Uh, but uh, we were able to produce uh, a great number of kiyas this year, and mm-hmm. very some of them were like really. I'm 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 really proud of them. Yeah. That's amazing, man. That's really great. We we're gonna get into the details a little bit later, but before we start, um, I don't know if, if if you have seen other interviews before, but we always do a speed round. So this is like a word uh, sure. word association kind of thing. So um, sure. we're gonna go through, and you give us your answers. So um, I'm gonna start with a, an easy one. Your favorite holiday destination? Kolkata, maybe, where I was born, Mumbai, in India. All right, all right perfect. I, I don't, I haven't traveled much in my life. <laughs> I've always been into work, uh, way too much work in my life. I think I've been, <laughs> people complain about it around me. A workaholic, uh, but, I see. <laughs> yeah, major workaholic. I started when I was 19 and ever since I'm working, I'm 41 now. All right. Uh, so, so uh, it's 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 always been work 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 and uh, but there is something when I go back to my uh, roots maybe where I was born uh, is is something that gives me a peace in my mind. So, Some yeah. soothing. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a little tougher one, but what would you have been doing if you haven't been a poster artist? I would be trying to become a poster artist. <laughs> no, seriously. What, what is there anything else you would want uh, it to be? <laughs> no. Never. So I'll tell you this how is it is. When I was young, when I was young, I, I I always wanted to become a poster artist when I was in school, but I never knew how to become one and what is the journey and what is this art form even called. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so I just thought, told people I want to become an artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if there was an uh, so if there wasn't a poster artist, then I would maybe maybe become an illustrator in advertising, right. in mainland advertising or something. But still, look out for entertainment art collection in my drawer would have been fine posters mm. in my room stuff like that mm. all right um what is your uh, your song that is on heavy rotation right now is there anything you listen to while you work and stuff like that well i love to listen a lot of pink floyd okay uh, uh i'm a big pink floyd fan i love uh, dark side of the moon mm. i love to listen to comfortably numb and uh, time money and I'm a big fan of Kishore Kumar, who's one of a uh, legendary Indian movie singer right. from the olden days. Uh, so a lot of his old songs is there in my playlist where I give. So it's very crazy when I'm working. Uh, it's 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 more of uh, Kishore Kumar. Mm. And when I'm not working, I'm sitting and just thinking about things. It's more of Floyd. Mm. So this is, this is, there's no single track as such. Yeah. But there's a zone, you know. Yeah. yeah sometimes a lot of Hans Zimmer also. Yeah. All right, there you go. There we go. Um... Samurai or Ninja? Samurai, I think, yeah. All right. Um, what's your favorite seat in the cinema? Uh, center back. Last row center. All right. All right. Um, what is, uh, or who's your favorite director? Of what? Uh, there are many directors. Uh, some things I would like from Fincher. Sometimes I like a few things, how, how the screenplay is staged by uh, Tarantino, or sometimes how screenplays 
ट्विस्टेड बाय क्रिस्टोफर नोलन और देर आर ग्रेट डायरेक्टर्स इन इंडियन सीन आल्सो लाइक देयर इज अ वेरी ग्रेट डायरेक्टर दैट आई वर्क विद मिस्टर श्रीराम रागुन एंड देन देयर इज डायरेक्टर लाइक राजा मौली सर दैट आई हैड द चांस टू वर्क सो लाइक देयर आर मेनी डायरेक्टर्स आई डोंट हैव अ स्पेसिफिक अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्टर बट इन ऑल माय लाइफ I have always visited a few directors for their films again. Like I'm a huge fan of uh, Steven Spielberg. I'm a huge fan of James Cameron. Mm. Uh, so I go and visit their films. I like to see the challenges that they went through in that film and how they overcome it. Okay. Like I'm a big fan of uh, Ridley Scott as well. Mm. So like at this age, how he's still able to pull that kind of film. Yeah. Then George uh, George Miller for Mad Max. What he did with this, fascinating. So very much uh, indeed. So like it's yeah, it's 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 more. uh for me is the human journey of a director that fascinates me mm-hmm. uh, and then the uh, technical side of it all right um what or who is your number go always with what here <laughs> who is your favorite avenger my favorite avenger is iron man iron man okay is that is there a reason why or i find him too cool oh he's too cool okay i yeah. i get it i get it i get it it's like yeah and but 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 I've done most of my amp artworks on Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Because I love the Batman as a character has so much art potential. Yeah. Oh my god, it's it's beyond. Yeah. I think nobody in this world has more art potential in pop culture than Batman. Mm. Mm-hmm. I get it. I get it. I mean there's <coughs> uh, I all the amp amps that come out like the like the different kinds yeah. for, for all the Batman yeah, movies. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy. So like Batman and Joker are my favorite to do my amps mm-hmm. and concepts. I just keep doing. Okay. uh poster wise portrayal landscape of course uh, portrait posters are meant to be 30 40 uh, vertical ones i, I have to say uh, i like i like land- a good landscape as well though like like so when landscape- you look at the quads from the uk for example so you know, the so, so see landscape is more of a cinematic thing as if it's a 16 to 9 watching a cinema mm-hmm. but for me growing up is that vertical one sheet that is put up on the wall that mm-hmm. i go I watch while traveling to school, going. So is that vertical? The vertical size mm-hmm. or the vertical dimension of a poster mm-hmm. is very reminiscent in my mind of a poster art. Right. So I would always say poster is thirty forty. In India, the ratio is called thirty forty. So uh, it's thirty is to forty inches. That's uh, that's so different, that's what, right? It's like what is it? Twenty seven times forty one, right? That's what that's what it was. So it, it's twenty seven thirty nine actually. It's twenty seven inches by thirty nine inches. Okay. But uh, the ratio, in a very colloquial, uh, generic term, is called thirty forty. Ah. So, uh, uh, so thirty. When a client will say, "I would, I need two thirty forties and one six sheeter." So six sheeter is basically a horizontal landscape, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, vertical ones are thirty forty. So thirty forty. I mean, the vertical ones mm-hmm. are always my favorite. I mean, I would love to see the world in <laughs> in that uh, ratio in my head. I always see that. Yeah. yeah, it's it's always interesting, like when it comes to those poster size, because like you know the American size, the the one sheet, the, the actual one sheet yeah. size, twenty seven by forty one, and then you have uh, mm. the the German sizes, which is like a zero or whatever. It's like in, in terms of like mm. the size, it's like so weird. It's like so different. It's like always hard, yeah. to, like for, for a collector like me, it's always hard to get the frames. It's like for all the yeah, different yeah. sizes. It's like uh, yeah, yeah. it's tough. so ours. I think is twenty seven thirty nine. Uh, I think I think I'm not too sure. Is based uh, on the British size because mm-hmm. the cinema started from the British era, yeah. and I think that was the ratio that started. Yeah, so it there. must be. I may be wrong. Must I, I may be? I may be wrong. So yeah, it Not could be. Uh, it could be the A A A two A three sizes and things like that because uh, that's what they have. That's because like the the the, the uh, British galleries. That's what they put the poster mm-hmm. size out there, and that's also the quad, which I, th- I think uh, the quad. The quad is a mix of four pieces. Uh, is one is to one ratio. It's a yeah. It's one is to one. It's ratio. like the biggest. I th- I think that's. I think the quad size is forty by thirty or something like that. Because like yeah, it's four is to yeah. You call it three is to four ratio or one is to one ratio. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so yeah, there are many ratios now with digital coming in. No, mm. there are uh, and digital coming in and uh, there are specific sizes we are made for the malls and uh, theaters and exactly uh, multiplexes. There are so many different ratios that we have to adapt. Yeah, sometimes the artwork is a challenge. Yeah, sometimes the artwork is a challenge. Uh, so, so it's yeah, so it's fun sometimes. All right, but if you ask me, I like the vertical one is my favorite. Yeah, to answer your question, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um, so my last question would be then, um, what is your favorite um, 
Indian movie song in terms of like singing and stuff? Is that is that something you really enjoy? Like I don't know. So uh, for me, it's I, I'll uh, I'll go with Natu Natu. <laughs> yeah, the Natu Natu is the flavor of the season. The world is singing because it's R R R and all. It better wins. Uh, better wins Oscar for best song. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's yeah, 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 we are like really cheering it up. Uh, I for a Hindi song. There are many songs from the olden era, but I was not even born. Uh, from my pa- fa- father's generation, uh, from uh, legendary singers and musicians from back then. Um, so there is not a single one that I can name. I think, yeah. Uh, but even if if you have to, uh, then maybe me Shair Badnam um, or or Hazaro uh, Rahe by Kishor Kumar. Yeah, these are the songs that I really love. All right, perfect. All right, so the speed round is over. You're grilled enough, <laughs> and uh, let's get into uh, the way we, we we touched upon it. But uh, how how was it uh, in your youth? How how did you come about? Like because you said you always wanted to be a poster artist or something in that field. Uh, mm-hmm. How how did it start? What like you know what happened? <laughs> so- <laughs> So I was uh, so uh, when I was four years old, I was sent to a boarding school, mm-hmm. and I was raised in a boarding school uh, uh, for ever since then, four and a half years old in a senior KG. Uh, in India, it's junior KG, senior KG, then first grade. So in senior KG, I was sent there, and I was raised there among the is, uh, kids. Uh, a quick question: uh, Is is that you at four years old or around? No, this is uh, much older. This is much older. This was I must be in third grade or fourth grade. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm talking much younger than this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was sent then, and uh, and then I was raised among all kinds of students from all over the country, mm-hmm. and a uh, very very mixed breed, uh, mixed culture, multicultural, multi language, and uh, I mean we never, I mean we never thought like that so many religions mean so many things. You know, we all were raised together like brothers yeah. and all of that, and uh, from there on, uh, I had a very big fascination for. Uh, Art in general, you know, mm. looking at uh, sketches from the textbooks of school, uh, drawings from uh, biology lab, or uh, doing art competitions and all that. My inclination was always high, although I was academically very sound. Also, I was used to be the top topper in my class. Mm. All of them were there, but I was always into art a lot. Mm. And whenever they used to put up newspaper, we had a newspaper room where they used to put up newspaper to yeah. go and read and to improve our language. So I used to go there and read, just look at the cinema listing page. Mm. So they used to put black and white images of movie posters and showing where they're playing. Yeah. And I used to just love how a small black and white image can represent to you the genre of the film that is promises. So I would know that this is a film I would love to go and see in a vacation. Mm. This I won't see. This is maybe not for me. This is too uh, scary for me and whatever. So that quick, maybe the young mind. Quick question on that: Is that how how like what movies were represented in it? Is it how how was it with the Western movies? Were there a lot of Western movies back then, or? Well, yeah, there were very few of them, but uh, there were more of. Uh, I will tell you the actors in the nineties and eighties were propagated in India much more. Schwarzenegger, Stallone, mm-hmm. Jackie Chan, and John Claude Van Damme. Mm-hmm. These were the four actors. Uh, they were prevalent. So Rambo, uh, Terminator, Eraser. Uh, then uh, all of those uh, Schwarzenegger films and uh, Last Action Hero. Yeah. Uh, then later on Speed and all. So these were the mainstream action films. They were the only ones that came in India back then. Okay. Jurassic Park. That was the bug first film to really do big business in India. Oh, okay. So anyways, these were the films. So uh, action films like that. Then Indian action films and uh, the various films. What so was, I started picking up. The- what was your favorite childhood film then? Back, back then, like, like I, I want to hear an Indian film and a, uh, a Western film. My favorite childhood film was Terminator 2. Uh, Very uh, childhood. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Terminator 2, Terminator 2, I'll tell you Terminator 2. Uh, then, uh, uh, then I loved uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and mm-hmm. I loved uh, the Molaram the, uh, with the Molaram. Uh, Temple of the Doom, yeah. uh, Indiana Jones, and I loved uh, uh, what was that film? Yeah, that amazing uh, uh, Steven Spielberg film. Uh, Jaws. Jaws. I love Jaws. Okay. Jaws. Jaws. So I mean, these are the films, and Rambo, of course, Rambo one, two, three, and lot of and lot of Jackie Chan films. Yeah. All of his uh, Hong Kong cinema were dubbed in English, mm-hmm. and they were played on cable TV. So we used to love watching them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they were the films that I, uh, I loved, and. And in Indian film, uh, one of my favorite childhood films was Mr. India. Okay. So it was basically a take on um, Invisible Man ah, in okay. India. 
so it was a take it is a it, 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 it was like a superhero film where uh, a young guy gets a bracelet where he becomes invisible and then how takes up uh, the evil guys mm. it was and it was about he has a kids he has basically a kind of a a place to take care of orphan kids so there was it was it's a it's still considered a classic I still yeah. visit it, and I'm very nostalgic about it. I, so, Mr. India has to be my favorite film back then. I just got to yeah. chime in uh, here, uh, and I was asked. Uh, I, sh I should ask you about Sholai. Shol, okay. <laughs> uh, Sholai is some. Sholai is from my dad's generation. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and they, it was a great favorite for them. Uh, for me, I found fascinated with Sholai later, much later. All right. In my growing up years, I was not because. I didn't resonate with the sound, the music, mm. all of it back then because I was growing up in 80s, mm -hmm. and the Shole was quite essential 70s. Mm. So yeah, now when I look back, I have a great love for the film. Mm. But back then, I was not a big fan of it. All right, and and uh, is is that also like uh, uh, is your dad or your family a big influence on on you as a as as a uh, movie audience? Like, did he influence you? Like, watch so, this. Watch yeah. That. So my my. my yeah uh, so uh, my uh, my dad uh, i mean back then from my dad's generation mm -hmm. uh, watching english movies was not too much of a privilege that we got mm -hmm. but my dad was a big lover for english films mm -hmm. so he used to take me and my brother to theater when we used to come down for vacation so like a lot of big, big indian films i've seen in theater with him like independence day mm -hmm. con air uh, then uh, spider man uh, then a lot of uh, I don't even recall. Uh, I think we had seen Jaws also together. So a lot of uh, early films that he used to take, he used to like categorically take us to watch these mm. science fiction films, the big action films. Mm. Yeah, Golden Eye, the first born uh, Pierce Brosnan film. So a lot of films he used to take us, and a lot of influences I got on films was from my days in my boarding school. Mm -hmm. uh, because again, my teachers and all they would ask us to watch Willy Wonka, then we would watch Robin Crusoe, right. Robinson Crusoe, then we would watch. Uh, uh, Indiana Jones, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, so that's me in my maybe tenth grade. I mm. think it's tenth grade picture. Uh, uh, so in my school days, lot of influences came from there, and uh, in my hostel uh, boarding school. And then my dad was a big influence. And then when cable TV came in India, the satellite television, mm. then we had HBO, we had Star Movies. Yeah. Then we had a huge access. Then uh, one of my favorite, favorite, super favorite nineties action film is Speed. Hey. I mean, I would still watch it whenever it's running. It's it's such a great screenplay. It doesn't let you sit at all, yeah. and uh, it's this beautiful film. And that that was a film that we always loved. You know, I so was it yeah stuff like that. Was it coming out like I don't know because you talked about cable TV because like ninety six is I think when Speed came out. No 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 ninety four was ninety four okay yeah but around there somewhere so it's like is, was there a delay because like we in Germany we had always like a delay when things came first of all in cinema it took took a while to have it in Germany like took at least six months to a year uh, and then until mm. we had it and then also like I don't know three or four years later when it was on TV how was how was uh, so uh, no I don't think it took it, it took at, uh, in theaters it came in the same year in India. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think within eight months or nine months, it came on TV. All right, all right. So that's I think that's a little oh. faster than in Germany, but hey, a little faster because uh, India had a huge uh, TV revolution in the early nineties, yeah. and ever since then, it's been a huge market. So the TV television was always rich with content. Mm. All right. All right, and then uh, how, how did we move on from there? I mean, you, you've been you've been sketching in school. You you've sent me some really cool sketches, which I uh, told you earlier. This reminded me of uh, uh, Nigerian posters <laughs> already. So yeah, yeah. So, so these were from my ninth grade, tenth grade, eighth grade. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I think ninth grade, tenth grade. So these are all my back. I was a backbencher, so I used to just keep sketching and illustrating things from cinema that I've mm -hmm. seen. So it will remind you for films like Broken Arrow, Cliffhanger, uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, Independence Day, stuff like that. So all the action films I would see, I would just try to recreate them and try to create scenes and try to sketch around them to mm. recreate the composition and all of that. So these things uh, was, I think my brain was getting prepared to go into an art form that would adhere to this. Mm. And uh, so that's that was the early jump, you know, I think. And then from there, and after my schooling, I came to college. Mm. And in my college, I was uh, major into like, Metal bands and rock bands. Yeah. Which which college did you go to? Where did you study? So it was called a CHM College. Okay. 
uh, in uh, in a place called Las Nagar. It's one of the big colleges here, mm -hmm. CHM College, and uh, a lot of uh, album covers, a lot of uh, uh, bands like Iron Maiden, Metallica, uh, Megadeth, Rage Against the Machine, mm -hmm. Creed, Nirvana. I mean, all these bands were like big back then. They are still big, and I was big, big big fan of these bands mm -hmm. and then Floyd and and their artworks were like you know band artworks are like an art in itself yeah so I would just just keep collect you know, the, those days were audio cassettes so I would collect audio cassettes mm -hmm. I would keep the inlay <laughs> keep looking at the inlay and these are few of the illustrations from my college notebooks you know pencil in, in curve their album covers for Iron Maiden band also, Iron Maiden's album also covers. in the back again or I'm sorry also also in the back again of the classroom or like college classroom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, classroom <laughs> bag. Either in the back room, back row, or in the library, I would be sketching these. And those are the titles of I would do my friends' names, yeah. like a film title. I would create their names, like film title or an album title, and give them like Jitu, Rocky, hmm. Raj. So that's the Metal Raj. <laughs> that was kind of my ID. But you, so and you got I Batman had, in there because we talked about Batman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's again Raj written there. Yeah. So those were the main influences. I also just keep scribbling in my notepads. And uh, but did you did you study graphic design in college, or wh wh what did you study? I was studying science, BSc. Okay. I was studying uh, science, bachelor in science. Yeah, is is mm, uh, yeah, yeah. is it like uh, like because like, cause from what I know, uh, like uh, like in the Arabic world and also in Indian world people uh like the, the parents want their kids to be doctors lawyers and like you know those and engineers so, uh, but what how did this go over with your family so with me with me what happened was again as you said uh my 10th percentage at the 10th standard which is the uh metric percentage mm -hmm. after schooling i wasn't that very great uh but still i got into a college in science department and uh, uh back then uh, everybody used to say the best streams come only if you take science mm -hmm. And uh, uh, without my any uh, liking or disliking, I had to take science. And uh, believe me, when I took science, I was regretting it every day. I bet. Every day. Four and a half years for 11, 12, first year, second year. Four and a half years, I was just going against my grain. And I didn't enjoy even one day. The best thing that happened was I got the best friend of my life. Uh, who's a movie editor now? He's a film, one of the known film editors in the industry. Oh, cool. he, I got my best friend in college, Sandeep. His name is Sandeep Francis. Uh, he's the closest friend I have in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met in college. That's the only best hey, thing that happened. At least something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otherwise, nothing. So <laughs> I didn't learn graphic design. I didn't learn traditional art. I didn't learn anything. Uh, I was doing the science. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, in 2002, I lost my father uh, uh, in a tragic, uh, and uh, he passed away. And then things changed in family life. We, uh, I thought I'm wasting my time uh, doing science. There's nothing that is, I'm not even excited about it. And I should start doing something so that I can uh, help um, uh, my mom to raise the family and pay the bills. So I started working then. I had learned a few basic graphic tools. I had learned Photoshop. Illustrator, mm -hmm. a little bit of 3D. But it's what, so I, this was all started, learning, uh, learning by doing, basically, yeah. Or so basically, I joined an institute uh, okay. in India. There is different in Indian. There are computer institutes mm -hmm. and there are design institutes. Okay. So the design institutes are like the big schools of design, where you knew like the, all the degree program and all of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Computer institutes are like they teach you the software, mm -hmm. wherein they claim that they teach you to become professional artist but all they teach you is just the software and that also didn't they don't teach you because the faculty over there yeah. they themselves are not part of the industry so right. they don't know the in-depth knowledge they just know a kind of an outline of a software so they'll yeah. teach you 50 percent of it and then people who are really keen like me they run with it mm -hmm. they like go research and they do r d r d and learn so i was learning on a institute like that and uh, uh, when my dad passed away, then I started. I was while I was learning. I was to do a lot of R and D back then. I mm -hmm. used to go and buy these old magazines, design magazines, uh, Photoshop magazines from the old uh, junkyards, 
and then I used to get uh, and practice them, mm. find tutorials and start and do learn effects. Mm. All of that I used to keep I, doing. I have to say, like for example, like when you look at the Western artists, like most of the time when I when I talk to them, they they get the influence from from the where the screen printing comes from, basically from gig posters, like like music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they they mm. did that before, like designed album covers for for their metal bands and things like that. So mm. it's uh, so that's different for you then, right? Yeah, for me it was different because. I was majorly influenced by movie posters only. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was learning the software, I realized that this is the software where I can create things that I've seen on other posters. Mm -hmm. So so I started doing uh, a lot of R&D and started doing effects on Photoshop. I mean, I have some, I, I should have sent you those. Um, maybe I'll send you them, you can insert it here. Yeah. I still have few of my old works when I was learning Photoshop. So they are just basic, uh, Themes I would do based on a song and write the lyrics behind it mm. and uh, stuff like that. So <laughs> my influences started coming from learning the tools and trying to do things with those tools. Yeah. And then uh, I started working as a web designer in 2002, 2003. Mm -hmm. And uh, Is, I always. You were still I in college? To... You were still in college then? Or... I, I quit college. Oh, you still I quit quarter. college. In, sec in second year BSc, I quit my college. I dropped out of it okay. uh, by choice, mm -hmm. voluntarily. And uh, then I joined a small design studio in Bombay right. who were doing web designs and web layouts and illustrations. Mm -hmm. I joined as a junior designer, as a web designer. Mm -hmm. But I always wanted to become a poster artist. Mm -hmm. was, was, that so, the, was that the time where you also, like, did you work like two jobs? Because you mentioned earlier with me alone that you worked at, uh, at the video library. That was during my college vacations. Okay, uh, Let, let's talk about that because so I think th this is probably very interesting because you uh, gave me some images from your room back then, uh, as the people can yeah, see yeah, here. Yeah. This is, look at this, like all the posters, like even Hollow Man. I <laughs> I, I didn't even think of this movie and now I see this poster, it's like, oh my God, this this movie with, with those so, CGI effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so these, this is like uh, the early 2000, mm -hmm. just the early 2000, yeah. 2000, 2001 just when we entered the new millennium mm -hmm. so this is there back then when i had joined when i was my dad was alive when i was in college mm -hmm. so during vacation i used to work uh, in a video library as a rental guy mm -hmm. because i had a good decent knowledge of english films mm -hmm. so that guy rented me because then if people come for english films he needed somebody to recommend them mm -hmm. and i had joined only because i would get these free goodies yeah. as posters <laughs> so i had a huge collection of posters i would uh, uh, I would stick it all to my room. This was, my room was full of these, and uh, that was my vacational job. And I get to listen to a lot of music over there because he had a music line. He yeah, was you also can see all the audio, tapes on audio. The right there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my I had a huge collection of tapes also. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so it was like a, a candy shop for me, you know. Uh -huh. It was a candy shop, you know. I had I was all surrounded by posters, cassettes, audio cassettes, video cassettes. I loved it. I worked it for many months for during vacation mm. and that's when I collected these posters and I had a huge collection. Mm. I had all over my room. I went, my ceiling was also with posters. I don't know if I have a picture of my ceiling, <laughs> but I had put pictures, posters on my ceiling as well. So it was a very small room. My balcony we had turned into my room yeah. and uh, it was full of posters. I loved that. I still have great memories of that place. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Let's go back. Sorry, I, I to interrupt you, but I th I thought this would be very sorry, interesting sorry. to see. Yeah. So 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 yeah. So that was my early days uh, influences, and then I started as a web designer. We started doing web designs for corporate clients, mm. uh, but I always wanted to be a poster artist. So at night when we'd finish work, I would go on webs uh, online and start collect, mm. look at posters, what's happening around the world, mm. and uh, segregate them, save them. And just look at them. So my one of my colleagues showed, yeah, you are so fascinated with posters. All day I keep seeing you whenever you're free, just looking at movie posters. Mm. Why don't you pursue it? You know, and I told him, I don't know how to do it. I don't have an art degree mm. and uh, I don't have a portfolio that is full of movie posters. And I don't even know how to and who does, who does them. And, you know, as it says, the universe works for you. It happened like that. I had filled an interview for a web design uh, applicant uh, designer in a studio mm. i was called for an interview and when i landed there we, i i was told that we have a in-house movie poster studio also as a sister concern company which i was not aware of mm. and then when i went there and i was mad i was like oh my god these guys do movie posters for real films i would want to do this mm. don't even pay me for this i would yeah, you know, do it just. Yeah. so i don't know uh, my boss i would love to mention him mr nabil abbas 
this was a company called Epigram Advertising, and uh, the company that was doing movie uh, website was called uh, MovieTalkies.com. It was it's a movie portal. It still is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, so I I was there, and then he met me, and I don't know he, he saw the spark in me. I was just twenty two year old, and he saw and he said. Uh, so what is your favorite film? And I just went on and on, and he, I don't know, he liked it maybe. He said, "Okay, join, join in. I like your energy. You know, you join in." Uh, so this I remember, it was twentieth of December two thousand four, and uh, I said, "Give me ten days, need to wind up things." And first Jan, I will join. The first Jan was a holiday. Second Jan, I joined two thousand five mm-hmm. as a movie poster artist and a web designer for him, and that is when my journey started. Yeah, so. so this is my nineteenth year. Oh, exactly. So, I was going to say we're uh, we're on, <laughs> on a lot of years back from back then. So that's. That's a crazy journey. I mean, uh, and you've sent me um, from from your work because, like, let's 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 look at this. You sent me your key artwork. You did this is like there. There's key art from 2005. I mean, you, yeah, yeah, you have all of these. So I was like, looking at this, I'm I'm pulling up uh, this movie. So this is my first key art ever that released. Yeah, back in the day. How back in the day? This like how how like would you would you say? If you uh, like, because of the knowledge and experience you got now, would you make anything different about the the series you did back then? Of course, I would do it. Uh, the 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 finishing would be much better. Mm-hmm. The the typo would be much better, and uh, but I still like the minimalism of it, mm-hmm. which I was able to pull back in the day. Uh, which was not very prevalent uh, in two thousand five for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of finishing, I would do it much better. The typo, the logo would be much better. Mm. That's about it, I think. But in terms of composition and art, I think it still holds strong. Yeah. Um, so this was my first campaign that came out in April of 2005. Mm-hmm. And I went mad. The whole city was full of billboards with this. And all the web uh, websites had uh, banners with this. And I was just clicking, taking snapshots and sending it to friends. Via MSN Messenger or mail. Mm. Look at my poster. Look at my posters. And I was that mad. Okay, I am actually doing main key art. You know, I couldn't yeah. fathom it. Uh, and uh, it's it's all my life. I've met people who have thrown me at the other end of the water mm. and asked me to swim. And it is because of my ultimate love for poster art. I've been able to learn and swim over it. And I acquired skill and confidence of those people. Mm. Uh, so that's how I've compensated my lack of formal training in art mm. so i've just always been 500 percent over keen to work on things and learn the trade so whenever i find a great artist and never sees him a competition and never mm. i find him and i look at him as a new source to learn mm. that's it that's my approach all my life that's that's so amazing if anybody is doing a great work he's not a competition to me i would learn great things from him mm. and i will adapt to it so that's that's how it happened. So this was, it still holds a great place in my heart, this film. Mm-hmm. This was the first film that came out yeah. Yeah, back in the day. Um, h- how's it in terms of like, you know, I, I, I think it's always uh, very great if you like hear from, from, from the director, for example, like they hear from him, hey, oh, I love this poster, man. Can, I, can I have this? Because I, I know that from the, from the AMP scene, if people do like official uh, um, alternative movie posters, that sometimes the director sees it online, it's like, oh shit, I need to get in contact with him, or like, or it's like, it's like, oh, this is the ma- is amazing. Or I have seen other people like bring to for act to actors, for example, uh, bring artwork mm. of artists, so they they sign it, mm. and they're like, oh my god, that's mm. amazing. I, I need this. Can I get in touch with the artist and things like that? So how how how's that how's that for you? Did, did did the director contact you on this one, or like how like what is the response on on your first so uh, so how so how it was you know. Um, in uh, back then, I was quite young, so uh, it was the agency that was taking the precedence. Mm-hmm. I was just oh, a see. designer in the agency, so yeah, I remember the director loved it, and he he had uh, the earlier one, the hor- the side profile mm-hmm. face, uh, that was the main key art actually. So he had a big big uh, 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 creative put up in his office mm-hmm. uh, because he really loved the minimal yet the mysterious approach of it. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, this is from the time when digital camera was not even. Yeah, so this we had to do with transparencies and drum scanning and the analog way. Mm. So there was this big library of negatives that I would see with an eyepiece on a glow box. Yeah. Wow. And then I will choose the image and then send it for scanning. 
and the scanning will come the next day and then use it and create it hmm. and every scanning thing we had a cost to it so i had to see that i don't send too many images and then add cost yeah. because i was a junior back then yeah. so i had to be careful so a lot of things were there it was a learning curve but i loved it i i, I think what worked in my direction was uh, Uh, a lot of people before me were working on this pitch hmm. for many months but the director was not liking anything hmm. uh when i came in and i was told to do it i think the naivety in me and uh, the curious kid in me without any prior experience was able to crack a very distinct uh, minimal approach towards it because everybody else were doing a very typical horror indian film yeah. kind of an approach i did a very i don't know maybe i went very different with just a face without any horror element as such but just the way it's looking it's very mysterious yeah so it's it's, it's like today if i look i it's very grudge and with the ring kind of a space yeah yeah, yeah. uh yeah i see what so you're saying so back then yeah yeah so yeah how, so i don't know so how is it when we look behind the scene i mean it's just let, let's talk about this i'm i'm going to pull this up a little bit because i i like i, I want to get behind the process a little bit um i mean uh i know from from other key artists and in, in the west like they they get some assets and then they have to do or sometimes there's a photo shoot and especially for the for the poster and things like that how is it in uh, in india how how do you work in in that case how, so there how are, are the posters uh, created there are, there are three scenarios mm-hmm. there are three scenarios one is i will have a library of production skills mm-hmm. which will be a huge library in thousands mm. and uh, we will be told that we cannot shoot with the actors because uh, one the actors are not available second the actors have moved on to a different look mm. third we don't have time mm. so we have to do with those stills so then i would go and use those still images and uh, uh, so these are an example of doing with stills yeah. they are very early ones if you um, uh, yeah i'm, I'm just said. i just wanted to say i'm just going to go through a little bit by uh, uh, like we could start from uh, early uh, while, while you talk so people ha- uh, see something as well uh, okay okay so <laughs> stills is one way you do it uh, and then the second is the my favorite one wherein the best works come out is we create a rough concept mm-hmm. we sketch them illustrate them create a mock up and then we shoot with the actors for that concept mm-hmm. and then we recreate them uh with final finishing and the third is when nothing is available there is no shoot available there is no uh, stills available then you take 4k grabs mm-hmm. and you take hello help of illustration stock images mm-hmm. and you create images that's the most difficult one uh, but in very rare cases that scenarios have also come and mm-hmm. in pandemic especially i had to work on few projects like that yeah so these are the three scenarios uh first is uh, just the images second is the shoot and the images for backplates mm. and third is just the stock images and uh, grabs uh, because now everything is digital so you can get a 4k mm. and sometimes 8k kind of a grab also is that yeah. is this one here the uh, uh ramayana is that a uh, animated movie Yeah it's an animated. Did you did you take the screens from that as well or did you illustrate those? No no so these were 3D uh, models that okay. the studio gave us renders of. Mm-hmm. So we gave them uh, pose references. Uh can I need these poses this poses and mm-hmm. then they rendered it for us in those poses and gave and I created a composition with it. Mm-hmm. All right all right I see I see. It's like really interesting like uh, this 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 one I love this one especially like this the simplicity and the colors on this one. Mm-hmm. just perfect i love this and this is from mm-hmm. 2011 i mean you have so many great ones i i i uh, one of my uh, or like one of my favorite favorite ones i mean this as i said there's so many um but your uh, i never can pronounce the name of the movie but it is uh, anda anda dun anda dun exactly so yeah and these yeah. these are amazing They are also very simple yeah. and I love the the color treatments and the way uh, this this movie people by the way if you're in Germany uh, uh it's on the German Netflix for sure I don't know if on the US Netflix or whatever but this is a really great movie it's like a the Cone a Cone Brothers uh, type of movie so yeah. if you're into that go watch so it was, so I was I was telling you one of my favorite Indian directors is Sridham Raghavan mm-hmm. who's the director of this film exactly and that one yeah this this one this Kia 
yeah, this Kiat is is quite famous. This is yeah, this a lot is of people amazing. like this Kiat. I I have I have this as well. I was I was deciding if I because like I'm I'm sorry I did a little something. I just printed it for for a size because I don't know how to get it here in Germany. But I just printed it uh, uh, in uh, A4 size so I can put it up on the wall because I love this one so much. This is this is really great. And yeah, Thank you. The, the, this is amazing. And I also love, as I mentioned on uh, the Posters of the Year podcast, I, I put key art in, uh, not only uh, yeah. in Toilet and this one, um, I mentioned, go go back, watch it. It's uh, It was a live show we did on uh, our channel here. And uh, yeah, this this one uh, for an action hero just, just came out in December. And this key art is perfect because it, ex like, it shows what the movie is all about. And I think it fits perfectly. So great work on this one. Is it... Did, Thank you. It has even like I don't know. Um, I don't know what you what you did. Maybe you can talk us a little bit through it here. But it, it looks even a little bit illustrated. But is that like how how did no. you get the look? So uh, so it's 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 a lot of treatment mm -hmm. uh, basically. Uh, the lot of the weight shot also. Mm -hmm. There is a big schemer kept behind him to give an image yeah. idea of a backlit kind of an image. Mm -hmm. And there's a lighting in the studio. The photographer has done a great work. Mm -hmm. And on that, uh, I've done a lot of airbrushing and a lot of rendering on. Uh, Photoshop to give him an image treatment, which is a little posterly because he is standing in front of a poster. Yeah. But at the same time, it looks real because he's, the backlit is coming from behind. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the way mandate and the logo is placed is as if he is part of the poster. Mm -hmm. But the legs are coming out. So, you know, he's standing in front of the poster. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea is to, to create a very meta kind of a thing mm -hmm. because the film is quite meta. Yeah. And also the, the cop card says that he's hiding here from the cops. Mm -hmm. It, so the cop cars are chasing him and he's hiding here. Yeah, uh, it's really amazing. I mean, it was a, one of the, so this one as well. The, it's like, oh, this is just crazy. Thank you. Thank you. So this, so this was again uh, in the pandemic mm -hmm. using only still images and stock images. We didn't, didn't shoot. We had a very small library of images of mm -hmm. from the still. And I had to create an, I thought it has a great chance to create some iconic work. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I love the thought key because in the film, he is basically the guy who takes uh, those emergency calls. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan like, 100 is an, like is it the, the guilty. Yeah, the it's, guilty. It's, it's, exactly. It's, just want to say. Yeah, I think it's it's adaptation of guilty in India. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have changed the, quite a bit of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. And and then he's made to do things uh, on a gun point. And on the person on the phone is asking to do things. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a great idea as if he's been triggered to mm -hmm. do things. And he's wrapped around with a phone because he's on a call. Yeah. So, and the, there's a chase of the cop and everything happens. So it's like the entire film is encapsulated in this one image. It's, it's so amazing. This it's great, was, great. I love also the, uh, the negative space you have around it. It's like, uh, like a lot of people uh, don't like, they don't trust negative space. So, but yeah, sometimes I love you have to go space. with it. Exactly. Negative space gives so much scale is not funny. Yeah. It's so cool. I love negative space. But also looking at, for example, uh, uh, Indian too. I mean, this movie is coming out when next year, 24? Yeah, this year end or next year? It's coming, yeah, it's yeah. like it's like crazy. How how is that in terms of like? Because you create like, for example, India two, but also a fighter, which is also coming out in twenty four or something like that. So very very twenty three. This this coming this year. Oh, it's coming this year. Oh, it says oh, it says January. Uh, oh, 24, 24, Sorry. There you go. Jan twenty four. It's coming. Jan but 24, so it's like sorry. a long time. How how, how is this how's this working? Have you have you read anything? Is that like I don't know? Obviously not spoiling. So anything, I but... <laughs> no no. Uh, so in. In many cases, uh, uh, I have an outline of story given to me by the director, mm -hmm. and uh, or sometimes I get a script to read, mm -hmm. and sometimes I get a detailed narration to read mm -hmm. uh, here too, and then I come up with my concepts. Uh, I send them, and then when they like it, then I render and okay. present to them. So in terms of fighter, uh, they have not. We didn't even start shooting actually uh, back then. Exactly. When I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. So. <laughs> So this I had to work with the CG team, mm -hmm. uh, the double negative, the CGI team. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to work with them and I had few concepts. I told I need the renders of the fighter plane in those angles. Mm -hmm. And then they gave me renders in those angles and then uh, using stock imagery and everything I created this article. All right. Yeah. So it's uh, CGI planes and stock imagery. Yeah, that's I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you, you've, you've done so much great work and like like because I, I'm not so familiar with like the, the older movies. I'm more like the modern ones mm -hmm. that, that I know. And we can take the modern ones that you know of and then we can start from there. And then olden ones, if you like anything in terms of art, maybe I can explain you the context of it. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, I love, uh, especially since I've seen uh, Amek, that you've done, you've you've done so many different ones. I mean, uh, but yeah. the, the thing is, since <laughs> I've been dabbling in in the art world for some time, I understand all of those obviously because I have seen the movie in this case. So mm -hmm. I understand what you, what you were going for, and I I love this concept especially because uh, uh, the the lady here you see here, she's a um, mm -hmm. she's a, a boxer. And like, Boxer, but she's yeah. from the northern, like right by the border. northeast, northeast. Yeah, northeast. And the the people there is like it's like always like a conflict, the geo geopolitical yeah. conflict of like they're yeah. not yeah, yeah. not as Indian as others. And this is uh, yeah. this is why she's boxing for the world championship at some point. But um, yeah. So and and the ring the ropes basically uh, mm. split this poster. And I think this is this is this is done really great. I love this this poster as well. But yeah. Thank you. So so I, I, I know all about these, but um I don't know. Pick uh, pick one maybe. Pick there one is one that there, you want to explain. There is, in in Anik there is one where Aishman is standing in front of a wall mm -hmm. and the wall is broken. If you can open that I'll uh, tell you the context. The wall is broken? No, is it this one? No, no, no. The it's one. a horizontal one. It's a horizontal. Oh, the horizontal one. Oh, I think it's oh this one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's standing in front of a wall, yeah. and the wall behind makes the map of India. I figured, yeah. And the part that is broken is northeast. Yeah. It's the film talks about the northeastern states of India. Mm -hmm. So, so that's why it's a broken northeast, and in behind the wall you see this. Uh, the field is burning. Yeah. The field is burning or explosion, some kind of yeah. uh, disorder is uh, there. So that's the context of the film. It's talking about the Northeast burning or the displo uh, displacement in Northeast. And there's a commando in place who's trying to uh, work within that environment. Exactly. So, it's it's so like really interesting, like how this is, how all, all of this is happening. And like, you know, like the little details and that you sometimes like have to know, obviously, about the the, uh -huh. the context of it uh, to fully understand it. So that that's why uh, people out there, please go watch go watch some Indian movies because it, to see those posters, they, they make it they make it even greater. And that's uh, that's like you know, like hat, hat hats off to you because like I really love uh, the way you you go at like the ideas you put out. And it's like it's crazy, it's crazy. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah. Let's let's talk about uh, not only your key artwork because uh, you also do some amp work and uh, you have multiple series, multiple posters. You did. Um, is 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 there anything you'd like me to pull up? It's like something you want to talk about. You check it out. Whatever you like, we can talk. All right. Um, let's let's pull up. I think we can we can pull up the flash. We can start with the flash. Uh, the flash. Where? Let me see. Where is the flash? Whiplash, whiplash. Uh, whiplash. Oh, let me see. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. We got a whiplash poster here. I have to say, this reminds me a little bit of uh, Alice Zhang. You know her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Alice Zhang's yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, let's talk about it. I mean, this is great. <laughs> so this artwork, I had did a small 30 print run in US also. Mm -hmm. uh, I did with uh, with somebody there. So this was, again, uh, I saw the film and I love the movie. Mm -hmm. And I thought if you have to Distill, you know, whenever I see a film, I try to think what will I distill this film into. Mm -hmm. If you distill uh, chemicals and keep distilling it to the the downest molecule, mm -hmm. so I thought it will be his blood and sweat for music. Yeah, I mean, that is what I thought. You know, his blood and sweat. Is uh, you're saying something? Yeah. Is is, is this uh, basically? I don't know. Do do you watch a film like because like the from the other artists I know that they most of the time they watch a film once, twice, or whatever, take notes and or make little sketches. Is is that something you do too, or is that all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I watch a film and uh, then the film is reeling in my head constantly. Yeah. So uh, even if I'm walking, I'm taking a stroll or anything. If I get a concept, I'll just record it. You know, I record it on my phone and keep it. Mm. And uh, or if I'm sitting on my desk, I'll make a small thumbnail and keep it. Mm. So then I will choose one of them and I'll find it which is most compelling and I'll develop that. Mm. So whiplash was that. I like the thought that it's blood and sweat. And what if you have whiplash written with blood? Mm. Because there's a scene in the film why he's drumming his yeah. fingers cut and then there's blood on the, the symbol as well. So uh, I like that idea and. I wanted to paint it like an acrylic paint and I did it all digitally hmm. and I'm glad it came out well. And then somebody from the US saw it and then I did a small print run with him hmm. and then we sold it a small 30, a 50 edition, 50, 
50 or 30 print i don't know i think 50 print edition um it's uh, was this um uh, like how was it printed do you know was it printed as a gclay screen print digital G yeah exactly G -clay. G -clay, G -clay. all right cool so that's that's good to know and is 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 your artwork do you think about when you when you do the illustrations do you think about like i don't i don't know how you how familiar you are with the process of screen printing and like 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 i don't know layering or you just you just go ahead right? <laughs> i don't think at all, all right. i don't think any of that for me is what thoughts i have in my head mm -hmm. how am i supposed to get it on the canvas mm -hmm. that's about it all right and and, uh, and i just i am very big fan of techniques and styles mm -hmm. so how can i try to get a different kind of set of style this mm -hmm. time i don't have any styles but i try to do <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is. It's different. Like, cause I, I think you do a lot of portraits. Like when, you, when you look at the series. Yeah, I love portraits. Yeah. The portraits you did here. Uh, yeah. for, for example, this this direction. You, you, you like a lot of dark backgrounds. Look, looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> got, got your favorite Iron Man here as well. You know. Yeah. And but you also do. Um, I think this this one is pretty cool. I like this one with the uh the Dark Knight one. Yeah. With uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bl black black and red. I mean, I mean that always works for me. That's like a very great color combination yeah it's, and yeah, this um, is on this, uh, this yeah what what is uh, what is the latest one you have done the uh, latest one i did was uh spider-man the multiverse uh, one this one yeah multiverse yeah this is not illustration it's an image one mm -hmm. if you zoom in is I've done, this is an image uh man so i've done using image and painting i've painted yeah. the circles yeah. and uh, i've uh, worked on the images and uh, shaded them and the way I finish my key arts, I've done like that. Yeah, but I mean that, that's that's some cool stuff. I mean, get get on those so basically glasses, yeah. make it three D. So <laughs> yeah, so it's like that. It's like uh, you see all the Spider Man from all the universes mm -hmm. growing, coming out from his. Yeah. Basically, the story is from his spell. Yeah. Uh, so the yeah, so that's I wanted to do a different take. Yeah. So I did this, and uh, if you can pull out Joker, I liked what I did, what I was able to, I think, achieve. Which one, the Joker movie two, yeah. or the the Joker, the Joker movie. Okay, you you have this one up here. Yeah, yeah. This so this this is very much like an oil paint kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to address his madness. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and so the the line over here is. But also, it also feels like a vortex. Me. You get drawn. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. So he, you know. Yeah, that's the idea. So it's his world that is drawing you in, mm -hmm. and the madness around him. But he's enjoying it, and then the line is like that. Is this just me, or the things are getting crazier here? Mm -hmm. And the second one, uh, which is uh it was the the the, the shooting way? that he does yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. wherein uh his, his his mouth has become the trigger yeah very and, simple and uh, yeah, very simple very effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is this is also very symbolic and that's more uh graphic and designed mm -hmm. so i like to take approaches uh various things um uh, we can see i think we can see the one we did for uh uh the grand piano yeah uh, this yeah this one. yeah yeah so this is a whole vector piece yeah i did it as a vector all vector artwork so wow. here uh, the, the, you, you, the you can do it all the illustrating and vector huh <laughs> yeah i do it i do it all i do it vector i do it uh rest i do it image man mm -hmm. i do it all uh so this is all vector piece so this is uh again all the guns are laid together to create the grand piano mm -hmm. keyboards yeah and uh i like the the simple thoughts like this this as like I need to put it together before somebody else does it. So, <laughs> of course, when I, I mean. see somebody, so it's just like that. So I, I like that. Then, then the one that I did for the walk, I have a one that I did for the walk. Uh, uh, right. Robert Zemeckis' The Walk. You'll see. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. So again, it's just typography. Yeah. Done in three D, and cool, those though. creating the build. Yeah, and then it's creating the building, and then the guy is walking and. If you look at it from bottom up, zoom in and look at it, it, it gives you kind of a, that a 3D feel to it, you know? Yeah, it does. If you just get, pan, yeah. You get, you get a uh, little vertigo so, as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what the idea of the film is also. So I tried to do that mm -hmm. uh, in my print. So that's 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 one I enjoyed doing. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's one I did for uh, Tarantino's, uh, it was that car film, yeah. Uh, the death proof, death proof. Uh, Check. There's the one death proof. Uh, death proof. There it Red is. color one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. This again. This is a vector piece. Yeah. Walk was also vector. Walk was also vector piece. Also vector piece. Oh, okay. So this is the hood. Uh, this is again the hood of the stuntman. 
while it's going and chasing in the wind yeah. because the speed and the blood splattered over him creates a typo. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, and the order is the order is off. It says proof death. Mm-hmm. And then it says death proof. Yeah. So it's like I just like to do went crazy with it. I just loved it. That's amazing. Uh, I, I, I uh, wonder how is the how is the father is there an M scene in India? Is are the people aware no. of this kind of illustrations? Do they like like <laughs> some some people are aware, but not the mainstream people mm-hmm. for sure. No people. Uh, and also uh, a lot of uh, bootleg kind of stuff happens here okay so if you go to comic cons in india uh, you will see a lot of people just printing uh, a4 size small mid size bootleg versions of these oh, okay. where they don't even have uh, the consent or uh, the authority from the studio or mm. the artist i see, I see. so it's kind of, and it has happened to me as well oh, a lot okay. of my amp work also were printed without my consent and i had a bad experience And ever since then, I have stopped going to comic cons in India. Oh, okay. In Bombay, especially. So it's anyways a bad scene there. I see. Uh, so understandable. I mean, so the, okay. I mean, people even like I don't know, like we have some shops here, and like I I go there uh, sometimes. So like it's like a like a like a pop culture store kind of thing, and they um they have like a little poster corner, like in the, like A three size mostly posters. But yeah. then I go through and I see oh oh my god I this. This is done by my friend. This is done by my friend. What's yeah. up? Where, where, where do you get these? And he's like, somebody from the Netherlands has like he has yeah. he has the official license. I was like, he doesn't. <laughs> and like like can't ah. be. And then they, they were like always looking at me like, what is going on? So yeah. A lot of my work was there on eBay on Etsy. Yeah, that's... people keep sending me because I used to put. Uh, a really good resolution artwork on deviant art back mm-hmm. then i thought people would like to see details and all yeah. but people started picking up from there and printing yeah, it yeah don't do that man so now i don't <laughs> now i don't i know i know quite naive of me now i don't put like that yeah. but yeah um yeah. i i want to talk about any other amp any other amp you like a couple of amp, because you would be the right person to give me a feedback on what is if you look at it any one that you pick up because you know the amp art and you have yeah, so I mean, many amp artists i mean i i love i love your conceptual pieces i mean as uh, the the ones we looked at i uh, and i said the dark knight for example the, the, this this was amazing and um that, that as i said before i i like your conceptual work Every, everything you do that is concept, conceptual is great like for example i like the the crazy john wick mm, mm. Yeah, and also mm, uh mm. Looking at uh, like the the type for uh, Fight Club, having the type. Okay, I'll program. tell you. I'll, I'll tell you a big thing. Pull out the second Fight Club poster. Uh, there it is. This one. Yeah. So <laughs> you look at it. It's Brad Pitt, right? Yeah. If, I don't. It's. A, I. I. I am sure. I'm sorry. I should have given you a high resolution version. Yeah. But if you zoom into it, zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in as far as you can. Uh, that's the furthest I, I can do. <laughs> Okay, you can't do. Okay, so if you if you see the high-res version, yeah, I've created this with millions of faces of Edward Norton. Oh, okay. I've created so basically. But you the can see it a little bit. I, I figured that's what what, yeah. what you we're doing. So a little bit you can see it. Yeah. So if you further zoom in, mm-hmm. so basically it's millions of Edward Norton playing Brad Pitt, and Brad Pitt doesn't exist. So that's the story of the film, the concept of the film as well. Yeah. Ki, uh, the narrator. Alter ego is uh, Tyler Durden, hmm. and Tyler Durden actually doesn't exist in real world. So I was trying to encapsulate that into this concept, and I created yeah. a brush using Edward Norton's head. Yeah, and then I started painting with it, and then I rendered this. So it gave a different texture, mm-hmm. different feel. Yeah, and uh, in totality, it created an art form. And then when you look into it, and you if you print it really. Big scale, you can see mm-hmm. those details, and I think so. That was one, and I think that's what that that is what is really interesting about you because you have different styles. Uh, you have the 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 background of art, like design, you know, that design background, so you know about composition and all of that. So I think that what that is what makes you an overall like great artist, personally to me, because this is this is this is what I want. You know, I I don't want because uh, like when I see. Some of some of the posters or some of the artists that never change their ideas or styles, and they always come up. Yeah, this is this has got to be this. This has got to be this again, and this again, and this again. Just a different poster, mm. basically. I I I would get bored, but you bring so many different things to the table. I mean, looking at this and then coming back to a minimal Birdman poster yeah. like this, uh, and this is yeah. this is just uh, um, I think so interesting to see uh, and so so important also uh, from from the perspective. This is again again. Again, the idea was that the Birdman is again not existent. Yeah, and it's a 
it's a concept in his head so that's the idea of feather of a bird <laughs> and in the negative mm. space you see him standing there yeah so that was i like and then if you, if you have a night crawler mm. night crawler mm. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Where is Nightcrawler? There's a there's a red dot and on black. Oh, uh, is, I think it's this one then. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So this again, it's basically a drop of blood, or it's a record size. Exactly. Yeah. Or is the or is the trail of his car? Yeah. What is it? It's a mix of all. That's the red. That's the concept of it. Yeah, and I think is the trail. And I think it, it doesn't matter. You have uh, like that, that's what I said before. You don't have to be the the, the most detailed artist, and uh, yeah. you have you don't need to be the most. You have the best technique. So that's, that's important. If you have a great concept and you execute so that concept well, yeah, yeah. So there are like two. I I love detailing. I love. I'm known for detailing. Mm -hmm. I'll go on detailing when it's needed on an art form. Mm -hmm. I will go on. I'll create that for days. You know, on my mainstream key artwork. If you pull out. The post of Ashwatthama I did. I would love to talk about that. Which one? So that was Ashwatthama, the, the, the science fiction film that I was doing. Oh, oh, from the from, from the my, yard, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, this one, right? No, this forensic. No, no. From which year is it? This is uh, 2021. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. The start of 2021. It's a big robotic hand. Uh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There's a, there's a lot of posters in here, people. But I, I found it. There yeah. we go. Uh, this one, yeah. yeah this, so this, this is like, great. yeah. So this is like the cyberpunk meets, uh, uh, you say, Pacific Rim mm -hmm. meets a superhero film meets uh, Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. So this is hardcore detailed stuff, right? Yeah. And this I had to do in the middle of pandemic without a single image from the director because the movie was in production in pre-production. Mm. So I had to collaborate with CG artist, with illustrator, mm. and and create all of these, and then render it with stock imagery and paint it over it. And so this is detailing. This I went on for three, four nights and days. Mm. So this is when it's needed. You have to go. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you need very simple approach. So like Nightcrawler is just a very simple, minimal approach. Mm. I did that over there. Mm. Okay. This so like that. Yeah. This 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 is some great work. As I said, I mean, overall as an artist, this is this is so amazing, and it's like. Uh, I, I don't know uh, why people are not picking up. I mean, you're busy. Obviously, I, I would hire you for commission work right away. But <laughs> but um, but we can do it in future because uh, maybe if I can gather some time for the weekends, we can plan something. I'd love to do it with you for sure. Awesome. Um, I want to know a little bit more about your influences because uh, you gave uh, some some obviously some good influence on from the amp world, but also your favorite posters in general, and like also the Indian influences. So let, let's talk about this for uh, for a change. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, where do you want to start? <laughs> Up to you, my friend. Uh, so my influences, uh, as you can see, uh, were three main categories. Mm -hmm. One was Indian movie poster artist. Mm -hmm. So posters like uh, back yes, from the seventies. Sorry, this one, this one. Uh, these, these, yeah. So like, the lot of olden posters because I believe the poster art after eighties in India went to hell, mm -hmm. went south big time. Yeah. The poster art before eighties, uh, where they were doing traditional hand painted ones, mm -hmm. were beautiful. They are like great stuff. These, these are hand. So 70s, you're saying these are hand painted, yeah? They are hand painted right. ones, yeah. So after 70s, uh, when 80s started, mm. uh, they started using imagery and cut out of images and all of that. They were really bad. Mm. And then that same aesthetic continued in 90s. And after 2000, when computers came in, the aesthetic started getting better. And yeah. now we are there. But back in between for two decades, it was bad. So my favorite ones are from, from the 60s and 70s uh -huh. that I really like. So these are from 60s and 70s, the most of them. So, uh, like the color, the composition, the uh, the minimalism mm -hmm. where it's needed, uh, the iconography, everything I love about yeah. a lot of my old uh, Indian poster arts, like uh, the negative space somewhere and some place the compositions, mm -hmm. beautiful stuff. Yeah. So these are a few of my favorites from my old Indian ones. Mm -hmm. And if you come to international ones, I have a huge list of actors that of the uh, artists that I love. Yeah. You know, uh, if you can zoom in a bit. Yeah, yeah, like Drew Susan, oh, John yeah. Alvin. Yeah, I gotta go with these. Huh? Bob Peak, Saul Bass, how, George, uh, Roger Castle. Look, look, looking at uh, all of these, how how much do you got? Like, because you you were collecting, how much? <laughs> like back in the day, how how much do you ha had of these? 
<laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't have any of the physical prints of these. I just had JPEGs. I was happy collecting JPEGs. But but uh, because when I you were working in the library, wasn't there anything yeah, you could so pick? That, so back, so when I was working in the library, I would get the posters that were created from the digital era. No. Oh, okay. okay. Because I couldn't get these old ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So 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 they were like the effects, the signs, and the hollow man and stuff like that. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, these these like these are like legendary art. Like now when I'm working mm. full scale. After almost two decades, no. Mm. Now I appreciate these arts even more mm. because I think to conceive such artwork without the database of knowledge that we have today, with internet and the click of a button, you can access to any artwork around the world, a library of any artwork. To come up with these works 30, 40 years back mm. is like commendable. So I have huge respect for these artists, and I always go back. To study how they create motion, how they create mm. uh, depth, how they create uh, colors, how they create uh, conceptual yeah. uh, symbolism, how they create light effects, and sometimes with minimal stuff, uh, like Saul Bass is a great yeah. reference for me for Andadun. You know the way yeah. he uses colors, so stuff like that. I'm a huge fan of Roger Castle's Jaws. You know, it's like brilliant who, who storytelling isn't? in one of them. <laughs> who is it? You know, you know, then I love what. Uh, John Alvin sir did it with uh, those uh, Disney posters. Mm. Then Bob Pick, uh, what he did with Apocalypse Now mm. and uh, other films are like I, brilliant stuff. I have to say, I love the Tom Young stuff that he did for Star Wars, which is amazing. So, ah, uh-huh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I mean, looking at well, Drew Susan, more. these are uh, like uh, uh, Roberto Casero and uh, the other other guys. Frank McCarthy's work is like a study in itself of perspective and action films. Yeah. You know, great stuff. And Robert McGinnis, what he did for James Bond movies, were like really iconic. Mm. And uh, uh, Rosato, Rad, oh, I forget his name. Renato I can't pronounce Casaro. it. I'm very Ros- Renato Casaro's uh, this work that he did for Stallone films. You know, you see the muscles that he painted. Yeah. It's like it's like butter. You know, you just like to look at it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Odd rendering. Beautiful perspective, depth, and those muscles and Rambo and uh, Cliffhanger and all of this, and then. Uh, of course, uh, total recall, mm. and uh, also Enzo uh, uh, Scotti's Enzo yeah. Scotti's uh, work. Again, again, he's similar to Casario uh, because uh, of uh, spray. I think airbrushing and uh, stuff like that mm-hmm. in terms of rendering. But uh, the use of blues he used was very good. Mm. So that I like. So like many artists, I keep going, and today with all the tools at my dispense, you know, mm. it's it's just lovely to see and get inspired and always. When you have a bad day, when you have clients interference way too much in your poster, and they screw it up, and I go back and look at these work, and I see, yeah, it's okay. There's always hope. Hmm. Move on, next project, next project. Yeah, so, so um, that all else I come home and create my version. <laughs> as as you mentioned, you worked in album covers. Well, you you got some from the college days. You inspire in, uh, exp- uh, influences, uh, inspiration, inspiration. There, there you go. Thank so you. again, <laughs> Iron Maiden. Yeah, Iron Maiden was a huge influence. Megadeth, Metallica, mm. then great artworks of Pink Floyd, which are like layered and very eccentric to say the least, you know. Mm. Then uh, Rage Against the Machine, all of the rock bands albums that I have, Metallica, Megadeth, all these albums, Guns N' Roses. Mm. Mm. So they are like all, like today they are pop, pop culture icons, you know. Mm. And boy, back then I was just fascinated by how and what they do and how these, mm. they, the emotion that they translate. Has to collect these, yeah. Yeah. Um. Speaking of uh, the, the 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 traditional, more traditional posters, you you have some favorites. Obviously, you you've put many of the classics in there. And the good thing is that even these classics get uh, re-released as um as 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 posters by by galleries, by online galleries. And mm. for example, uh, my friends over at Vice Press, they uh, they work with Drew Struzan. They, they they work with Drew Struzan, and they had even oh. uh, because. Obviously, this is this is an art print, actually, and not a poster mm-hmm. because the, the title no, the title no. treatment is not here and the things like that. So this is really interesting that uh, um, these get re-released. Also, uh, Mondo uh, re-released the German the, yeah, the yeah. German poster for mm-hmm. Apocalypse Now. Uh, and yeah, I know, I'm aware of it. Mondo did that. Yeah. Yeah, and also uh, my friend Jason Atmos, and he he I I think he did both. Where I think yeah. it was this one as well. Uh, where they yeah, yeah, released yeah. this. I'm a big fan of Jason Edwinston also. Edwinston, I love his. Yeah, book. he's he's gonna. I, I, I think he's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be the next guest or the 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 one after that on the show. So he's gonna amazing, be amazing. 
And yeah, also uh, my friends over at Vice Press that I work with, they they had they have or had the Jaws license for quite some time, and they re released uh, even a lenticular of Jaws. So uh, it wow. has the three D effect and everything. So this wow. this is amazing, wow. and people really love it. And um, yeah, as as I said, as you can see, this, these are some some of the great classic posters that we have seen before uh, on on the Legends of Wall. Basically, but uh, you also are a fan of modern posters, and uh, you've put you've put a lot of them there. Anything you want to talk about in particular? I like uh, the teaser for Dark Knight Rises. You know, I uh, loved it. I loved uh, it. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Where did you put it? The I... Dark Knight. You search with Dark Knight. It's all labeled with the name of the film. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me see. Uh, dark. Come on, find it. There it is, Dark Knight Rises. Which is the, is the Dark Tower? Is it the uh, the because like we had uh, multiple? The one with where it's forming the Batman sign. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. This one. This one, yeah, I loved, I loved it. Yeah, this is. Great. I went mad when it's. This is my kind of stuff. I do this kind of stuff, and when I saw this, I like I would love to be a key artist on this. Yeah, that... I would love to. Uh, it was a great art. I loved it. That's, that's then. Uh, then yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. Then I love. Uh, from the original Dark Knight, also the when, the where uh, Batman is standing and and you see the bat sign being burnt yeah, behind yeah. him. Yes, this yeah, one. this one. Yeah, then also the one where you see the back of Joker in in the alley of mm -hmm. Gotham. Uh, this one, mm -hmm. they're all great iconic work. You know, yeah. my God, they are like. And I mean, I obviously, to... this one, this one alone has been reprinted. Multiple times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this has been reprinted. I think this has so, yeah, man, this yeah. has even uh, be printed as a also as an lenticular by by bottleneck gallery. So okay, okay. But yeah, uh, oh, you have this one, and this is also one of my favorites when it came out for Spencer. This is oh, oh god, god, Spencer. This is, this is I love so the good, composition. Right? I love oh, it. I love it. So stuff. good, so good. I, I just saw it pop up, and this is like this is really great. And then, um, what else do we have here? Uh, how, how did sort by date? I I didn't sort by date. Yeah, that's all good. Date, I mean, you'll have this. Ha uh, this, this has to be in there, too. right? <laughs> this has to be there. Yes, to both the posters for this film. Yeah. This one and the one with the eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know which one. Uh, is there? Is there? Is there in the folder? Uh, uh, A4, A4, A four A four A twenty four released it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I, damn one. I know. I know. It's it's somewhere. If I find it, I'll pull it up here. But also, uh -huh. as as I see. Um, <clears throat> Where was it? Where was it? Oh, yeah, the tar poster. But oh, yeah, you've have you seen the other one with the with the heads? The multiple, multiple. Yeah, yeah, heads, that's yeah. also yeah, yeah, that's also really great. And yeah, I mean, I've seen I, I I love posters so much. I still look at it every morning like a kid, oh, and yeah. I get excited. Oh my god, oh great! Oh. Funny games by uh, by Akiko by Akiko Akiko is, Akiko oh Akiko. God. I think is. She's the living legend among yeah. us right now. And she oh. is the humblest person ever. I mean, she has been. She's she has, very sweet. She has been on the show. She's very sweet. She has been on the show before and she's she's so great. She's, so she's great. very sweet. I have spoken to her a couple of times. She's very sweet. Yeah. And I mean, oh, here yeah, you got the, the Green Knight, which is like the like the whole the mm -hmm. whole campaign for Green Knight was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that one as well. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, Jungle Cruise posters. I also like like the character posters. Like it, like those it. are really great. I like I like the oh. treatment that uh, BLT did on this. Uh, this is again Akiko. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on, yeah. you can't go wrong with, with yeah. her, right? This this is this this is some really good stuff. So yeah, there, there have been a lot of modern posters that uh, like break the the the. I would say the the floating heads type of image, like the image mm, what people yeah. know about posters and uh, and. This is this is what like, like for example I I host a sneak preview like where people like don't know which movie come and like there's like a certain audience that always comes back again and again and uh, they they all know they're not very familiar with the with the amp scene and things like that and what posters can be so I always try to expose them hey check out this artist this week so like like you know try to get them put them uh, in the direction of like you know to see if they're interested obviously in in, in if they're an interest in art they will take a look and yeah I, I just seen this one yeah. Covenant. Oh, oh this, this is, is so good. They, they reprinted this. You one. know, I'm 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 learning CGI just to recreate something of this style. Yeah. I'm learning CGI since many years now. There has been a hiatus because of some technical issue. Yeah. But I'll learn again. I'll get back to it again. I want to create this kind of art, and I'm going to create this kind of art in my amps. That's this awesome. kind of art. That's why I want to learn CG. Yeah, they they reprinted this run as a time run. I I remember this. this I've done. I've, I've done bought this one. one. CG. I've done only one CGI based artwork. If you can see in my amp, it's for Dark Knight. Uh, 
and then a small small typo beat uh, typo beat hold up hold up uh, bullet man uh, under m yeah m m yeah my m uh, dark knight was it the the bat, bat is the batman logo no which one is yeah it? yeah the batman logo broken this this one the typo no 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 this oh, is oh, the oh, Weiss, one. oh Weiss was series right no the other one there's one more uh, is it this one? Oh, i got it i got it i got it it's welcome there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there this one. Yeah. This one. I see. Yeah, this. Yeah, I see. This is this is crazy. Yeah. So this is like. Yeah. As you see, the 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 man is very talented. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just try, try, try till you die. Exactly. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, everything there. everyone wants poster we're talking about is crazy cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see the one? Okay, I wanted. Did you? See... I saw this one. I loved it. I loved it. No, did you see? Did you see Akiko's poster for her? But uh, this was when she only had the script. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the uh, the the. The faces and the uh, chalans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The bills, the bills put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I want you, I want, I wanted to talk to you about a series that I did. Yeah. Uh, if Let's you go in my amps, mm -hmm. I'll go in the series and it is called Strokes. Yes, I'm in it. So I'm just going to go through and you so talk I'll, about I'll give, I'll, 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 just, 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 I'll just tell you something. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I wanted to do, this is 2015. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do a series of posters where I don't have any geometrical shape whatsoever, not majorly of it. Mm. I don't have any faces. I don't have any picture. I have nothing. I just have strokes of colors. Mm. And when I place the title of the film, it makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Now you go through it. Yeah. Now you go through it from start. Yeah, I'm going through it. So you can, uh, you can, you can obviously see that uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, Mad Max. the subtleness. Yeah. Nightmare of the Alum Street. Uh, Gravity. This one, yeah. Dark Knight. We all know what this is about. <laughs> there will be blood. Yeah. Pianist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nice, Simpsons. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Cap. Captain America. Yeah. Seven. Predator. Yeah, this is a cool series, man. Wolverine. The Challenge Jobs. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Superman. Ah, this, is, this is also great. Yep. Matrix. Red pill, blue pill. Social network. Dominator. This, this could also be almost Punisher. <laughs> ah, this could be, yeah. Uh, it's Wolf of Wall Street. Yep. Casino, nice. And I love I loved this one. This guy. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 is some some great artworks. It's very simple, very effective, and you also have another yeah, series. It's a, called Circles, yeah, which this, is this is a similar circles. idea. This is just a this similar idea, only using circles and for Indian movies. Yeah. So, <laughs> of course, you don't have a context for the film, so you won't. But whoever have seen, they'll understand. Yeah. Some, so some this is Anand, so, yeah. this is Bahani, Bazigar, Hera Feri. Oh yeah. Idiots. <laughs> Obviously. This is Indian ET. Mr. Yeah. India. Oh yeah. So this was saying. Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, nice. I see. He's only you visible. There. Yeah, he is only visible in red light. Yeah. So that's the thing. Afi Rasta. LSD. Dangal. Dunga, this, oh yeah, some great, some great stuff. I really like what you did here with the circles. Very simple, very yeah. effective. But this, this is as I said. I mean, I, I hats off to you, like with your career and like the different styles you can pull off and the conceptualness of things. It's like it's a really great. So I'm, I'm a big fan. I have to say. Oh, thank you. I'm so, obliged. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, also the M scene because you put in one of your like your favorite amps or like artists that you look up to. Mm. And as we as we said, we uh, we talked about uh, Jason Edmiston. I mean, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is like a classic. My God, and, my God! This and the Rocky Four artwork mm. that you did, Rocky Four. This and this. Oh shit, man! I would love. I would just kiss his hands <laughs> just for this yeah. beautiful yeah. stuff. I mean, Jay Jason it's is the, also a very nice human. I met him. Uh, I met him for the first time in person at New York Comic Con, and uh, yeah, he was oh. he was just great. We were talking for quite some time, and it's like he's a great dude. Yeah, I have, I, I I I'm gonna start back my amp scene again. I've been not been able to produce much amp this year because of my mainstream work. Mm. But uh, I'm getting a new iPad Pro now, iPad Pro M2, mm. and I'll start uh, my amp work again. And I would love to 
produce this level of work man what what level what beautiful symbolism beautiful storytelling rendering everything it's all beautiful mm. it's like people who have seen this film know would love to have this on their wall for, for sure so man, for sure i mean uh you have also other other great artists that that have been on uh, the show i mean gaps for example here with his like last gaps, year's oh american God. werewolf which was amazing and like he's a great portrait artist doing like portrait work yeah. for example so long back long back gaps did a full scale mainstream indian movie posters for rockstar oh okay uh, if you if you pull out the film rockstar yeah all the posters are illustrated by him oh let me all the... me, yeah you you keep talking and i'll pull it up Ah, uh, rockstar! It's there in the Gabs library also. Oh, but, there! I, th I think I found it, and you can see the style uh, right away. So yeah, let yeah. me. Of course, the title treatment and all of that they did it here, which was bad. Yeah. But the main illustrations were this one, right? Gabs. These are all Gabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go, people. Yeah, you can if you see them, you you can see the style. You can see the style. So that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Gabs did uh, rockstar, and I'm a huge fan of Gabs. I've been following his work for many years now. Yeah. And uh, latest release. him and Sa yeah, latest one. Him and Sam Spratt from the NY illustration scene. Sam Spratt and Gabs, yeah, this is Sam Spratt's work. Sam and him are my biggest influences. I mean, okay. how they uh, like Gabs in terms of how compositions he do, mm -hmm. and Sam in terms of how use of colors he does. Mm -hmm. He's like like two geniuses, I think. You know, of course, Jason and all of them have great great work in yeah. terms of storytelling. But I love Sam's use of colors. Yes, yeah, beautiful you, stuff. You put one of my favorites also in there, uh, Mr. Greg Ruth. Also, kindest. Yeah, oh, being. Greg Ruth. Oh my God, he's like Greg Ruth. Greg Ruth's hand has to be kept in the museum. Greg Ruth <laughs> for sure, not, right? <laughs> so you, know, so you know, you know, when you know when Kim Kim Jin Goo's passed away this last year, mm -hmm. uh, the great uh, Korean artist, and I was so so upset because oh, yeah. all my life there was this, there I've was right around Comic Con. It was like crazy. We had we were yes, at Comic Con yes, and yes. they still they still had his table up with his with his yes, thing yes. and then turned yeah, into and, a memorial. It was so so up, I was so upset for days, you know, mm -hmm. because I was he was one of my favorite artists of all time. Mm -hmm. And then when I look at Greg Ruth, I get a little more like no no there are great artists in there. Mm -hmm. And Greg has a very different approach. He has a very cinematic approach, mm -hmm. wherein uh, 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 Kim Jong Gu had gives had a very spontaneous approach. Oh yeah, did you and, did you see? Uh, did you watch like his like this process videos when he did something? Like, yeah, yeah many like, of them. How many how does he have it? All? How 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 does I, it work? I used to joke among friends. We used to joke that this guy is not human being. He's a robot yeah. inside. It's crazy. That's how. How does he process so many things all together? Hmm. Perspective, lines, vanishing point, tar, tar, geometry, uh, and, like, and the physics, scale, violence. and the scale of it all. Scale, scale. Then the bio, biology, and the mechanics, and the physics. This is. Crazy. Oh my God! This I was crazy. like, shit, crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's... But that was the gift of him, you know, the once in a lifetime kind of an artist. Yeah. Then Greg is another artist that I really like. He's of course like he has an experience of what thirty, forty years. I really love the double exposure uh, that he does. It's like, yeah. it's like crazy. Like I, yeah, beautiful stuff. He, he's he was the the third artist. I think the third artist that I ever interviewed on the podcast when it started like okay. uh, three wow, almost wow. three years ago now. And I get Greg's work. No, I'll, Greg's work is like a poetry to me. I look at his work. It's like poetry. It's like it's it's just like it's beautiful it's just yeah uh, stuff. then we have also a very uh, painterly approach of an artist that is uh, Mr. Hans Woody, who just moved to Berlin. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to see wow. him soon. We, we haven't had a chance yet, but his style is um, also very great. People people love his style. Very like, great. The art, like, love his work. The Iron Man is like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can, I, I, for, for especially Hans. This is this is basically where I see a lot of like sometimes when you do the the, the painterly approach to this, that this is where I see your yeah. inspiration there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I have inspirations from all over the world. Yeah, I I am a self learning artist. I'm not even self learned. I'm mm. learning artist. I keep taking inspiration. These are great artists, man. Yeah. Who would not love to learn I mean, the, from them? The, great. I was also the watch you. The great uh, Ken, Ken Taylor. Taylor, yeah. Ken Taylor, oh god, the Australian legend. This guy, I'm telling you, I love his. I used to look at his gig posters and collect his gig posters and mm. JPEGs only. But later he did a lot of AMs, and I was like, oh my god, this guy is something. Mm. And that gave me a push to go back to my vector art and do my vectors again because I was so inspired by him. I, I, so really, lot of my, I really enjoyed his last uh, uh, Ex Machina he did with Mondo. That uh, was, Ex was oh wow. 
the ex machina was so good mm. yeah, 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 yeah it was also in the running of uh uh for poster of the year obviously yeah poster of the year yeah so yeah and then i mean we he have also another great martin anson i mean oof, martin anson this, martin this anson. guy this his guy. use of lines yeah so if you see my ayari poster i had done a key i had done a key art for ayari if you see my amps yeah. so it's a my way of certain nod to martin anson because the way he used lines i always love it so i tried to use the same way and key, i mean key art was it, where was it in key art or yeah yeah key art key art key art ayari a y when is it which year because it's it's uh it's 17 or 18 2017 or 18. uh amonto where's ayari yeah, keep keep talking. I'll I'll find it. I'll find it. Ah, I think I've, I think I got, it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. The Indian tricolor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. So this is again. Uh, of course, it's nothing as great as his work, mm -hmm. but this is my way of uh, getting influenced by yeah. his style and putting into my mainstream work and stuff. Like A little that. homage. <laughs> A little homage. Yeah, homage. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the Superman. Super. Oh my God, this is. Yeah. Yeah. Is His it? work, as I'm saying, the way he uses geometrical lines yeah. and creates scapes, no, it's brilliant. This one, yeah. See again, yeah. beautiful stuff. Indeed, indeed. He's he's a great artist as well. And, and we have the the great oh. Matt Ryan Tobin. He's also a good friend. Yeah, Matt Ryan's show. crew. Yeah. Crew and uh, the uh, Blair Witch Project is like two of my favorite stuff. Oh, where's the Blair Witch? Oh, that's Blair Witch. Is that yeah, issue? Yeah, oh, oh, this one. This one. Yeah. My God. Yeah, he's he's a great artist. I mean, like, like all the stuff. Beautiful artist. Like I love his werewolf as well, which goes along. Uh, werewolf with the crow, yeah. Yeah, it goes as if it's in the same environment as the crow. I even like this this latest, the Paranorman. I think that the, the which was a landscape one. I think that was also really uh, great. I love I love his true romance. True romance, the colors mm. and true romance is mad. And mad, then mad. we have uh, another great team, Phantom City Creative, which is uh, uh, Justin Erickson, yeah. uh, Erickson and uh, Paige Reynolds. Uh, yeah. They're married and they, they work together. And work. They, I mean, this you, I, uh, you have a couple older ones here in, in this one, but like I think last year was the year of uh, 2022 yeah. was the year of Phantom City Creative. I mean, they won so yeah, many yeah, players know, know. and like all yeah, the, know, oh my God, all the work. I'm aware of it, all great stuff. They the, did, did, yeah. did you see the, the Lord of the Rings they did? I think the, the Fellowship of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my the, God, this is so crazy. The hat, yeah, the entire mm. stuff. And then we have. I also love. Yeah. I also love Scott Wollstone. If you see yeah. for Scott Wollstone's work, I know. I know him. Yeah. I the know. work. Yeah, the work that he does with pure graphic design mm. and images. Yeah. And colors, man. I'm a big fan of his work. Yeah. So good work. Then we have another great, and also like who has done a very great poster. I think the the June poster of his went also very far in a poster of the year competition. But yeah, he did the graduate, for example, which is yeah. also one of my Rory favorites Kurtz. of his. Rory Kurtz. He's also a great, Kurtz. great guy. I love I love his architecture yeah. stuff. He's done for Spoke Art for, for yeah. Frank Lloyd Wright. I got I got I got him up in the living room right now. <laughs> so cool. So, but yeah, also his like this Clockwork Orange. Like this is one of the. Oh damn. This guy can draw. I mean, if you look at his dune, like the the details on those freaking rocks. I mean, how long had it, does it have to take to draw those fucking rocks, man? This is yeah. this is just yeah. unbelievable. But but yeah, other greats uh, in here. Um, this is who's this? No, this is I couldn't remember the artist's name. Sedgerin, whatever. I can't I cannot read it. But yeah, this is this is very cool. Different. I think it was could, could this be oh. with the bus logic one? I, I'm not sure. Then we have uh, uh, my good friend Matt Taylor, who has also been on the show. Matt Taylor did the Fight Club yeah. here, and I, I, I remember. I, I don't know the artist anymore, uh, but I remember this poster. We talked, uh, James and I, we talked about it on the podcast before in the review show. This is uh, really great. Uh, and then uh, I forgot who this was, but it was with the poster posse because they've got friends of mine. Yeah, poster also, posse. Yeah. Also part of the this, poster this, this, posse. But I, I is, was it Bella Grace or Adam Stothard? One of the two, I think it was. Adam Stothard. Adam, Adam, I think. Yeah. But yeah, also also really good friends of mine. And yeah, oh, we, uh, we have seen this one before. I think we had it on the show as well. This is, this is some great artwork, man. Good art. Really cool. And then also, yeah, Kevin Tong doing some minimal. Minim Kevin Tong, long back. Yeah, he, this is my kind of style. I love this. Yeah, he's uh, he he has also been on the show, and I love his run uh, for Akira Kurosawa's run. This this was oh uh, wow, what a great poster! It was there was a long time that was my background for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, this is awesome, really really great stuff, and you, you've been doing here, and we we talked about your process. But there's one more thing that I want to talk before we uh, um, before we gonna um, call it a day here, 
Um, I want to I want to uh, sure. show you. Go ahead. Two of my campaigns from my mainstream work. All right, all right. Then let's talk about it. The yeah, one is two thousand uh, two thousand nineteen. The Lal Kaptan. Uh, yeah, I found it right away. So good. Here, there we go. <laughs> no, go back the first post. I'll show you the entire campaign. Um. Yeah. You. I. Uh, it's, uh, is it? Which one is it? No. 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 Go back. Go oh, 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 I see. I see. There, there, there's one more. No, one more further back. A black one. It's in black. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, it's 2019 because like it has the numbers, but uh, but the next one is the next one is no, then it will the be, Mumbai it saga. Must be 2018. No, no, no. 2018. Check in 2018 because the teaser released in oh, 2018. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. 2018. Where is it? Where is it? A black one, you said, yeah? Ah, uh, so it's a phase down below. And then uh, the the Tika kind of extends from there. Uh, uh, Moonbound. <laughs> That's not the one. Where is it? Twenty. You said twenty eighteen, yeah. Uh, ah, like that buggy true. too. That's also this is so many posters. This man. Yeah. Hold up. Where is it? It's zero zero zero. This is not black. This is. What is this? It's the Indian two. Uh, uh uh I I I don't think there is one from that. Okay, okay. I don't I don't see it. Okay, I don't see it right now. Anyways. Anyways. So that that is uh, so. I think I, I I missed out on that sending it to you. Uh, so that was a great teaser. Mm -hmm. Then this led to this key art, mm -hmm. which was uh, uh, it's again a very periodic film mm -hmm. set in the pre-independence era about it's it's, ah, it's treated found, like in the. I found it. I found it. It was 2019. Got it. There we go. Ah, this one, yeah. this one. So this one's the first film teaser poster mm -hmm. which I really loved and people loved it. So uh, this is about a bounty killer. Mm -hmm. It's like a spaghetti western set in pre-independence India. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a pretty cool film. Uh, sadly, it didn't do well at the box office, but mm -hmm. the campaign I love to do for this one is really cool. So this was the key, uh, the first teaser communication mm -hmm. uh, that we did. Uh, and then this led to the reveal, which was you seeing that after this, mm -hmm. the horizontal one, where it's coming out of the dust, mm -hmm. and then, then you have the ten heads. Yeah, and then you have. Is it is it in relation to uh, what's who's the god? Ravan. Yeah, yeah, Ravan, Ravan. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you have the ensemble that I want to show you. The ensemble we have yeah. this one as well. The the uh, the, no, the no, portrait the vertical, uh, yeah. portrait version, and then, then and the then ensemble. This yeah, this one is cool. Yeah, yeah. I like this one. This is uh, this is one of my one of my favorites. Yeah, that's really great. It's just the story. It's, it's, it's the entire uh, story of the entire film, mm -hmm. wherein you have the uh, the decoits and the mm -hmm. uh, lead hero and then the villain and all of it. Mm -hmm. The tree where they hang people after killing. Yeah, it looks, it looks very spaghetti with with that part. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah, that's this is the entire the way it's been uh, uh, arranged. Also, everything is quite spaghetti. Western influence. So this one I wanted to show, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to show you the entire campaign for Action Hero. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, which one should I start? We'll start with this one, or? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So then after this, you move on next. Yeah, we got this one. So then we had this one, which is uh, the brawl between the lead two, mm -hmm. and then then move on. Uh, this is again the brawl. Yeah. That real. I like the I like the the use of cropping over here that I was able to pull. Yeah. I really like. Yeah, and then there is, yeah, this one. This is like yeah. this is base. Yeah, so this is basically then. And of course, the inspiration is from the Cobra film poster. So he is an action hero yeah. in the past, and as if his one of his posters has been stuck on the wall, and now he has been yeah. chased by people, goons, and cops, and he's tired and is hiding there. Yeah, it's basically. And this is like. Yeah, it's also like what is what is TV and what is reality. Yeah, he also yeah, real life and real life. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like that. Yeah, exactly. So in his reality, he is exhausted, tired, and scared. Mm -hmm. But in the poster, he's in all elegant and heroic. Exactly. So the contrast of his life. And then and uh, we have the last one. This one. Here. And then yeah, so last one I really love it because he has a broken glass with cops following him, but he still has a swag of a hero. Exactly. So that's exactly. What like. Yeah, it's like uh, as uh, as you can see here, this his life starts to crumble. Yeah, yeah. The the facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facade is coming. Yeah, yeah. Come down. So this was the recent 
and and the very last poster uh, which just released the farsi who is back for is this farsi yeah, yes farsi. yeah so this there's a big uh, show that's coming on amazon prime what? it's based on count of it count of it money okay okay what? farsi means yeah, which is farsi means uh, so farsi means uh, fake ah okay farsi means fake initially it was called fakes Oh, okay, okay. Then they changed it to Farsi because they wanted Indian name. Mm. So Farsi means fake. So that's why it's like as if the money has been counted, uh. fake uh, Farsi, and then then he's hiding between the fake money because he's an artist who creates this fraudulent money. Ah, and all okay, of that. okay, okay. So yeah, uh. yeah. This this is that. So it could be. Um, I don't know that there also a good poster for that would be also if you had a fake bill, instead of like you know yeah. when the when the heads so on it, put it in. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. I am doing something with uh, okay. pay, bills and uh, collage and all that. But there are a lot of le- legislation issues. You cannot show the bill on an artwork with a lot of government uh, stuff. Oh, okay. So we have to like. Uh, so there are a lot of rules like that. I see. I see. So I and in, uh, so like that. So still, we could able to pull this one, and I'm happy. It's the first key art of the year this year, twenty three yeah. now. Very, very yeah. late. Exactly. That's great. And uh, yeah, I, what what I wanted to talk about is. Um, because I don't know if you have seen the the the, the one question I always uh, I always put out because like um, I did a I did a book uh, called Film on Canvas and there are some oh, wow. some some artists in there and uh, the idea of the book is basically my question so um, which classical artist would you like to see make a film poster like or which fine artist and then the people said like yeah I want to see uh, Picasso do an Avengers poster. For example, oh. I, 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 what I would love to see right now, I, I, I just remind, I was reminded of it yesterday. I want to see Picasso do everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you have anything like that uh, that uh, you would like to see? I would love to see uh, Michelangelo do a Tony Stark. Tony Stark, all right. Yeah, I mean, I think that has because, been done. I think that has been done because he is Tony Stark of that era. Right, mm-hmm. he used to do those science diagrams and all of that. Mm-hmm. So him doing like a Howard Stark meets Tony Stark kind of a thing, and uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I may not pronounce the name right. Uh, was the great artist Rembrandt? Rembrandt, how do yeah. how do you pronounce Rembrandt. the name? Rembrandt. Uh, Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Yeah. I would love Rembrandt doing um, uh, a lot of the rings. A lot of rings. I because would, the, I would sca- love to see that. the scale. Yeah. The scale of Lord of the Rings with his style of mm. painting would be like beautiful. Yeah. I'll, beautiful. I'll show you a little something. I, I'll show you later in a little bit bigger. But uh, this is uh, this is one of the posters that Adam Edwards did when it came to Da Vinci. Oh, oh nice, nice. Damn cool. He did da the, da Vinci. The, the perfect man <laughs> in his perfect suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put the John Wick in there. I think that's that's very clever in terms of concept and all. But yeah, this this some this some great stuff. So uh, yeah, Adam did this for the book, and I'll I'll show you the 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 stuff uh, later on after the show. So uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, that, that's a, that's a great idea. I I, I want to see that. That there would be uh, two very cool approaches. And uh, yeah, if Volume Two comes up, uh, I, I might call on you and see if we can if you can. Uh, simulate the style of Rembrandt <laughs> or uh, Da Vinci and do it in in a certain way. But um, before we before we out, uh, I have my my basically last question, uh, which would be: Do you have any tips for the beginners out there? Is there anything you wanna or you can you can give out like the way how you got into this? I mean, you're a big you're a big shot basically in the world. So in this world, so no, I I always think. Uh... If you keep feeding your art very truly, mm. the art will feed you back. Is that? So, and always chase skill and not fame. That, that's it. Yeah, exactly. That's the two lines always say those students. If you, I mean, in my field, I see a lot of. I mean, not in the Western Hemisphere. I'm seeing the Indian side. A lot of kids they want to come into post art because the thing is very glamorous. Mm. They get to meet the actors. They get to be among the. Their work is all around, and they see the fame side of it. But they don't work much on the skill side of it. Yeah. If you work on the skill and you keep chasing it, you know, I come from a very humble background with no art background, with no but in my family remotely an artist. Mm. But I love this art and I try to dissect this art form into a science, and I try to look at poster as a science art, and I try to like uh, dismantle and study and then remantle it. So if you chase something really and I be at it, 
eventually we'll land at a good place. That's how universe yeah. works. Simple as that. So talent is not needed. Skill is what we need. Talent is overrated. You know, yeah. if you keep doing every day with a discipline, that mm -hmm. gets shit done. All right. They, they... Talent is there to get us started. Uh -huh. But uh, if you are really hungry, then you don't need a motivation. There, so you we... heard it, people. That's what it is. Go do the grind because it's going to pay off. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know. last thing is not a question, but it is for you. So, I, I want to give you the stage to uh, shout out uh, uh, your artist friends, friends, family, whoever you want to shout out, give a shout out to. And before that, please let the people know where they can find you uh, on, on the interwebs, anything, uh, and where they should okay. look out for you. So, uh, my primary place to reach is Poster Junkie on Instagram, is where I have my art page where i'm uh, there almost virtually 24 7 and uh, you can come interact with me look at my work uh, comment share stuff like that other place where you can see my work in greater detail is behance you go on behance slash metal raj or look for raj katri on behance you can see all my work in great detail with breakdowns and all of stuff and uh, <laughs> apart from that uh, uh, i have a twitter uh, with raj katri and all that but I think if you want to interact, uh, Instagram or, or Poster Junkie is the best place. Uh, I want to re reach out to a couple of my friends. I want to give a shout out to a couple of my friends who have been a keen supporter of me and who are doing great work. One is Sandeep Francis, who is a film editor. He just had the biggest uh, hit of the year, Drisham 2. Uh, oh, he was that's what he did. Nice. I love that movie. It was great. Yeah, so he's an editor on that. Another one is uh, Sagar Medsari. He's a very old friend of mine. He's a very good UX UI designer. Third is my younger brother Amit Khatri. He is an UX UI designer. Fourth is a close friend of mine, Avinash Jay Singh. He is a photographer. And fifth is Vivek Mandrekar. He is a movie poster artist at Yashraj. He does all the posters for Yashraj. <coughs> all right. And uh, yeah. And uh, I think these are the five people that really are always there watching my back. All right. Big shout out to them. Big shot. Thank you, thank you. And and don't forget the family. <laughs> Always there for you. And well. also, yeah, one sec. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Of course, family, my wife, my kid, and importantly, my workplace, marching ads advertising, where I've been working for 14 years. Yeah. And uh, currently now it's called Math Entertainment Art. And uh, the people over there are great. The team is great. And I'm able to do great key art with them. <laughs> you okay, buddy? <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Just need water. <laughs> all right, that's perfect. We, we will put all these shout outs uh, from uh, the artists and like work, hot working people out there and the agencies. We put them in uh, the caption so you can check it out as well. Uh, yeah, on, yeah. So, on... my, yeah, the last one I meant was my agency, Marching Hands. Yeah. And my, my immediate bosses, uh, Mr. Rajiv Chudasma and Joy Goshal. A great influences and my first boss who gave me chance in my life, Mr. Nabil Abbas. Exactly. There yeah. you go. You heard your first people. These are some great people you need to check out because I I don't even know uh, uh, all about him, but I want to check him out because uh, I'm so interested and in, I uh, see what uh, Raj is doing with his work. And this is amazing. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time and talking to us today. And uh, yeah, uh, please share the interview because uh, people need to know more about the Indian side of things and all the, or the, like, say, let's say the Eastern side of things, because it's a little different than the Western. And there's a lot of influence that we can pull from that. All right. Thank you so much, my friend. And uh, we'll you. see each other soon uh, out there, people. So bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. For giving me this platform. Thank you. Thank you.